going on? Uh, I am back again with another top string tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to do up a triangle top string. So it's going to look like this when we're all set. So we've got uh, two different strings. One is making the inner loop and the other is making the triangle pattern. Uh, pretty easy, um, but I really like the way that it uh, really creates a really tight top string and prevents you from hitting plastic. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So when you're going to start off with your triangle top string, it's really important that you use the nine diamond row uh, across the top. And it's uh, important to use the nine diamond row because we're going to be skipping a diamond and you want one um, folded over diamond in between each of your uh, the first string that you're going to be using. So uh, with the tri triangle top string, uh, it's kind of cool. You get to use two different strings. So I like to use two different colors. I'm going to start with a white string. Uh, and for me, it's easiest to string a stick looking at the back side of the head. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But basically, you're just going to start off, uh, put your string in through your top, top string hole, the first one on the sidewall. And I like to go through the front of the mesh and out the back. And then I wrap back through that top string hole. And out the front. And then back through that piece of mesh again so that I'm cinching it down and really interlocking that mesh nice and tight to the sidewall. So my top string is out the back now and I'm going to go up through the first top string hole, through the back, out the front, and again I'm stringing from the back um, so it might be easiest to do the same if you're following along. I'm going to pull that through and go through the second um, diamond up top and you'll see that I've created on the back uh, a loop that I'm going to then pull my top string through and I'll show you what it looks like when I get it tightened down. So I've gone through the back, out the front, and then through that piece of mesh and through the loop that I created. And then I'm going to skip the diamond like I was talking about. Skip a diamond, go through the top of the side wall, I mean the top string again, the top hole, through the front of that fourth diamond. So remember, I cinch the first one down, I do the second one to the top, skip the third, and then I'm on the fourth. And again, I'm pulling through. So I'm creating this interlock. And I'm going to do that all the way across the top. So through the top hole, through the front of the mesh, back through the loop, skipping a diamond in between, same thing. And then I'm just going to go through the back of the last hole, out through my top sidewall hole, back around so that I'm cinching that mesh down again and out through and tighten down on the sidewall. So when you're all done, it should look like this. So we've got uh, we've skipped a diamond in between, we're going up and over itself, and we're tightening the top string. And then with our second string, this is where we get into the triangle aspect of the head. 
so again, I'm going to use a different color. I'm going to use blue, like the color of my shirt. I'm going to go in through that same top or sidewall hole that I used for my first piece of top string. And this is where tipped laces can come in handy. I'm not using a tipped lace, and it's obviously a lot harder. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the blue piece in and I'm on the front of the head. So the mesh is in front and all I'm doing is I'm going to run it up through that first top string hole and then those U's that we created with the first string we're going to go down and under and then back up through the other side. And back out the back of the top string hole to the front. So you're creating a U over the top or underneath that first string that we created. Pull that nice and tight. And in the front, you'll see we've got our first uh, side of the triangle. And I'm going to make the next one by utilizing that diamond that we skipped. So there's a diamond folded over in between the two that we used for our top string holes. And this time you're going to go underneath that diamond and back out so you can see I'm going underneath the diamond back out I'm gonna pull that tight and it's pulling up on that diamond that we skipped and that's gonna really make sure that the top of your mesh is really tight to the top of the plastic and it's going to prevent you from hitting plastic. And then we're just going to repeat what we did with the first triangle. So we're going through the front of the head, down and under and back up behind that white piece of string, my first piece of string. out the back through the front of that top string hole and there I've got my second triangle and again I'm going under the mesh hole that we skipped and back out the top so I've gone underneath the folded diamond you can see it pulls it up nice and tight and again just repeating through the top, down and under, back through the back of the head, through the diamond that we skipped. Pulling it up nice and tight through the face. Down and under. Down and under. Back up. The back of the white. Making that U around the white 
And then, as this is my last diamond, I'm just going out that top string, my sidewall hole that I used for the white. Pulling it nice and tight. And tying off my knot. And there you have it. Pretty easy, pretty quick, looks pretty good, keeps it nice and tight, not going to hit any plastic. And again, with two different color strings, you can kind of customize the head a bit, give it a different look than most heads, and still get a really nice top string um, without hitting plastic. So that's it for today. Keep checking back for more top string tutorials, and I will see you all soon.